You want to give me a little snap? Yeehaw! <laughs> I really never know what I'm walking into. This year, birthday of America. Yes. This is the birthday. Give me a little yeehaw. Happy Independence Day. Yes, sirree. What's that? Tip of the hat oh. to you. Okay. So it's Independence Day. It is about what time? You seem time very is it? excited, ma'am. What time is you it? You seem very excited to I'm be here so today. I'm so confused today. Well, here's Sarah's Independence Day. Is it 10 or 7 or 6? Folks, some people get liquored up <laughs> before Independence Day. Some people wait for Independence Day. Some people just can't control themselves on flights. Sheena, here's all three. I did so not. I'll do the show today. I'm zero of those. I did not get liquored up. Welcome back to another episode of Sheena no, Interrupted. I did not do that. I'm your host, no, American Bob. Not. And happy Independence Day, y'all. <laughs> Here's my guest today. It's a woman. Got bit by a lizard in the buttocks yesterday. <laughs> and it's confused her synapse firing today. No. She's going to be chill, pretending she's a yoga master. No. Welcome to my show. <laughs> The number one show you're listening to right now. It's not your show. It's our show. It's not your show. You're sounding like a belligerent fool right now. (laughs) And I don't do belligerent fools. (laughs) Me? So you best pick up the energy level if you want to stay in that chair, ma'am. Oh, gosh. (laughs) He's tipping his hat again. So you pick up the energy level a little bit or what, ma'am? Imagine you're on a bull ride in Sacramento. (laughs) Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. I said all this already. <laughs> you, I don't. You know didn't hear any of it. Said. Welcome. And I'm back. your host, Amber and Bob. <laughs> and I lost this here tooth. Oh my God! Are you? Did you put that emoji on? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tip my hat right. Okay, if you're listening to the show, you have to take Howdy. a minute to just find this episode either on YouTube or on our socials on Instagram to see what we're talking about. The sun goes down, my part of town. <laughs> and if you've been around for a little while, you may be familiar with American Bob. <laughs> Howdy. He once did a dance and he was a big hit. And what was the song? The sun goes down on my side of town, and there's that fire feeling. Da 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 da. da. There was this trend going around, and you did it, and it was a hit. We it should was, do that again. That's my advice to you today. If you are listening to this episode, please go find Happy it. Happy Independence Happy Day, Independence y'all. Day, but please take a God minute bless and America. go find it on find us on Instagram or YouTube. And just take a look. Or just use your mind's eye. <laughs> Imagine the finest cowboy you've ever done see. <laughs> but missing a tooth. That's a cattle fight with Betsy. And that's a story for another day, y'all. Okay. So what are we talking about today, young lady? I thought we could talk about our last week, which was just Ooh, like a crazy a trek. week. Yes. A trek through the mountain ranges of Pasadena. <laughs> You know, to Mountain Mama, <laughs> Montana. Yes, we did not go to Mountain Mama, Montana. That's not in Montana, ma'am. Okay. That was a trick question. <laughs> Pasadena? No, nope. wrong again. Where's Mountain Mama? You know this. I Where's know you speak music. Where's the song? I'm supposed to speak music. Uh, what's the song? Sorry, Denver family, if you're listening. How does the song I know go? you listen to my podcast. <laughs> How does I'm the, song the number one American podcast host you're listening to right now, American Bob. What is that song? It's, oh. No, that's a different song. (laughs) You're singing, oh, my friend. This is Mountain Mama. Take me home. Take me home. Country road. West Virginia, man. Take me home. Country road. To the place that I, I belong, belong, West Virginia, Virginia Mountain Mama, Mama take, take me home, home country roads. <laughs> Holy crap, I didn't know African Bob could sing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is what happens when we're really, really tired. This year, African Bob's going to get a Grammy. <laughs> 
We are exhausted because we flew I'm back. I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm exhausted. We flew back from the West Coast. West Virginia. The West Coast last night. Uh, we were we were in LA for an entire week. It was awesome, but we got back last night at 1 a.m. LA doesn't even feel like America anymore. It doesn't? So much traffic and, I don't know, electric cars. <laughs> What's with the electric cars? You got to plug them in. What is it, a toaster? <laughs> you don't like You got to turn that Hemi. That's... Yeah, hear the rev of the engine. Oh, I thought you'd do bull riding. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, you got to ride a bull down the street. <laughs> this here Tesla here and Rivion there. I think it's fabulous. Oh, no, I don't know, ma'am. It's so good for the environment. Nothing about pulling up to a red light and staring a man in the face and saying, you want to go? And then revving your engine. And now you hear, so <laughs> That's not the same. I want to be my Chevy Super V8 Hemi. That's the beautiful thing about America. It's so vast. Oh, 400 it's... horses of torque, 600 horses of power. This rah, is rah, just rah. one part of America. That's what I need. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we were in L.A. I remember my day. In L.A.? Someone did you wrong. You took their tea and you threw it in the water. What? That's how this country came to be, ma'am. Oh. Disposing tea in the water. Got it. The Boston Tea Party. That's right. Yes. Are you just going to so When I go to spit? Starbucks sometimes and I'm not right with what they do, yeah. I take the cup and I throw it in the sink. Okay. And I say, this here is my fight against your tax. <laughs> okay. Screw you, big man. So if everyone wants to join me in dumping a coffee in the sink. It's tea. It was dumping tea. Dumping the tea in the sink. It was not coffee and it was not in the sink. They didn't drink coffee back then. But they it didn't was know not the sweet the flavors sink. of coffee. We're moving on. Okay. Can Amrick and Bob take a pause? Can he sit down and just play with his straw in his hat or something? Thought you were going to say something else, but <laughs> yes. I'll be calm. Go ahead, please. The floor is all yours. Thank you. So we spent all of last week in LA. And we got back last night at like midnight. East Coast the, time. East Coast time, which was, oh, that wasn't so bad. It was 9 p.m. So we came home. By the time we got back, it was 1 a.m. Came home to a broken water heater. We had no and a hot mini water. mini flood in the basement. And we had a mini flood in the basement. Uh, and our kids were like like they ready to rock because it was nine because PM it was nine PM. body time yeah they were starving they wanted to order panera bread yep and the worst part it was like my biggest nightmare and i know you think i'm being dramatic but it was the worst coming home after being like having a travel day the only thing i can think of is taking a hot shower so i stood in the hot shower but it did not get hot I stood there for five minutes and it was just not getting hot. I felt like crying. It was so cold. And then you came in and you said, it's not working. Correct. So I had to bathe in cold water. No. Shower. You got out of the shower. No, no, I showered. I actually. It, and then you went back no, in. No, no. It was hot. I actually showered. I did a really quick shower in the cold water. I was freezing because I thought it wasn't going to get fixed last night. So I showered. You were surprised that I fixed that I am very water surprised heater last you fixed night. it. Extremely surprised. Yep. Shame then, on you. For what? I'm an American man. I know how to fix a water heater. <laughs> okay. Fix the engine in my car if it had one. But now it's just all battery-like and I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> okay. All I know is it goes, ooh, when I leave. And when I reverse, it makes waterfall sounds so you don't hit the local children. <laughs> I'm like an ice cream truck man. But I thought you were an American. I am. And you drive a I electric drive a whistler. Car? You drive a whistler. That's what you call them, whistlers. Okay. When you go by, they go. They're awesome. I think this is the future. I'm living in the future. Yes, you are. Um, so I fixed the water heater. Yeah, you did. With my little one. Yeah. My youngin was my assistant. Yeah. We got them down there. Yeah. Took you're, a look. Your little heifer. There was a head. Heifer? You're a heifer. That's, that's, a, that's the name of a small horse, young lady. Exactly. You're a little heifer. She's not a donkey girl. <laughs> Shame on you, mama. Shame on you. 
All right. She's an apprentice. Yeah, she did great. She, so was she so came proud down. We pulled out the, error, the manual. We saw an error code. We read up on the error code. We took the machine apart. Yeah. Turns out you have to clean the air filter in your water heater tanks, folks. Mm -hmm. If you have a tankless water heater, you have to clean the filter. You every have to remove three it three to four every months. Three to four months. Yeah. We've had that thing for three years, <laughs> it was... and it looked like it had been filled of three years of gunk. Yeah. So we took it apart. We cleaned the filter. We and put then it back we had in. Hot water. Airflow was restored to the system. Yeah. And we had water again. And then I took a nice hot shower. But when we were down there, yeah. our sump pump seemed to be upset about something. Mm. So that's today's project when young apprentice wakes up. So anyway, so is last that it night for today's episode. No, that's not it. Last night was an interesting night, but the week itself in in oh LA my. was really oh right. really fruitful. Oh my! So we were there for four days of VidCon. Was it four days? Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We we're there for four days and two nights. Three, <laughs> three days. I'm sorry, three days and six nights. Three days of VidCon, and for those why of you, do people always tell you nights and days? I don't know. Three days. I was there for four days and seven nights. Take it easy, American Bob. Okay, then. Sit okay. in my saddle. Yeah, thank you. All right. So we were at VidCon for about three nights. Seven days. Not three nights and seven days doesn't make sense. Well, why do the people say that? Why can't you just say three days? I did say that. And why you said four nights? I did not. Well, you thought it. I did not. I got there in the middle of the day and I slept on off location. Oh my so God. I was there for five days and two nights. <laughs> How is that possible? Because I rode in on Tuesday. And oh I slept. I didn't sleep one night. So it didn't count. Oh and another God. night I went to my friend's house. <laughs> the night still happened. Yeah, but I was only there for two of them. <laughs> no. I was there for five days and two nights. Okay. So for those of you who don't know what VidCon is, it's a creator conference, video conference, and a lot of happens at this conference you have three different like simultaneously simul you sure you want to tackle <laughs> tough stuff today ma'am like simultaneous conferences why don't we just talk about the easy it stuff was. like did you brush your teeth this morning hon did. you did yes good did you cut your it hair wash your hair simultaneously there was you have three tracks <laughs> You got people that work in the industry Wait, having their conference. I do this. Just hold my hand and I'll channel you because <laughs> no. this is going to take a long time. All right. So can All right, I, I got to go. No, you don't have to go. We I'm didn't even now. get into the episode. Oh, American Bob's got to go. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? I can hang out. No, no. It's, it's July okay. 4th. Bye. No, I'm staying. See you later. No, I'm staying. Bring back my friend. I'm going to stick around for the whole oh, show. Oh, God. Okay. So then you just have to humor me here. We're that's talking about that's travel all I do, today. That's all I do. We're talking about travel today, this episode. That's right. I did not travel yeah, with American hop Bob. Hop in my pickup, throw my luggage in the back. All right. Me need my boots, my lasso, mm -hmm. and my pet donkey, Hee Ho. He's can, getting old. He is getting He's old. Can we get, can we get my friend back? Hee Ho? No. You've never met him. Trid. All right, then. Hi. Hi. Are you back? What did I miss? <laughs> I love that guy. So cheery all the time. What were you doing? Were you still sleeping? Yeah. He <laughs> just are, left. We are very jet lagged. His donkey's looking old. <laughs> so I'm leaving in the front. I'm yeah. saying, he oh, he oh, he oh, but it wasn't moving. <laughs> he picked him up, put him in the back of the truck, and he drove him off. I've never seen such a thing. We are very, very tired and very jet lagged, but it's going to be home. Not finish the episode yet? No. We, send my friend to do kept, your episode and he you're still here. He kept talking and talking and talking. Uh, okay, come on. All right, we're talking about our travel adventures and misadventures. Okay. Did we have any misadventures this week? I always have misadventures. Yeah. It's hard to travel with kids and expectations, but I think this trip but went well. But is it though? Yeah, it's but they're getting easier and easier. They sat by themselves both ways. They did. I think the hardest thing for me is the hunger, dealing with the hunger issues. That's why I give you granola bars in your bag. <laughs> Not me, the kids. Oh. It's specifically one kid. He gets really hangry and then he gets mean. That's why I feed both of you nuts like this, like baby goat, <laughs> both of you walking in the airport. I look like I'm doing the walk like the Egyptian dance, trying to feed both of you. 
I don't get angry. Yeah, you both get angry. You start attacking each other over <laughs> it so we don't throw one granola in the middle. It's like two alligators swimming towards a piece of meat. I do not get angry. He Me does. and the little one bet on who's going to fight with who first. She won last time. <laughs> She got the time too. That she, was impressive. She, she knows not after. Phased. She's more, she gets like flustered when she's tired. Yeah. And he gets really flustered if he's not fed every 15 minutes on the 15 minutes. Yep. It's really, that's the biggest challenge, I think. Otherwise, I think they are amazing travel companions. No comment. No comment. No issues. You agree with this? No, I think they're great. They are great. Hungry or not. I think everyone has a certain amount of that. And when they're this young, the problem with him is he's your size now. So you think he's your age. You don't quite realize that he's a child. Don't even start with me. You got irritated with him uh, an equal amount that I got irritated with him. Which trip were you on? <laughs> the same trip. You were? Okay. Okay. I don't think that's so, possible. So. And. Yes. If you can't have a cell phone. Yes. It's okay to not know when you're getting hangry. Huh? Like if you're too immature <laughs> yeah. to be treated as an adult in yeah. certain ways. Yeah. You can't pick and choose when yeah, the yeah, kid's yeah, an yeah. adult and when the kid's a yeah, child. Yeah, but when I tell him, hey, I think you need to eat something. He's like, you need to eat yeah, something. Yeah, and you're both right. <laughs> oh my God. Someone left a slipper in my shot. What slipper? There's a stick, a <laughs> slipper, and a piece of cheese in my shot. If you don't, it's a very professional show we operate here. To it, it's like where's Waldo? <laughs> Every week, I'm gonna hide one stupid thing in the screen, and you guys have to find it. If you do not call attention to it, no one will even notice it. <laughs> what are you doing? I have to do the show like this, so you cannot see all the items in the back. It's fine. This is a very natural motion. If, the you're, chicken wing. if you're listening i highly recommend watching the video component yeah. this this week so the kids traveled yes. five plus hours each way they did great they were fine yes then we left them with our dear friends for a few days because we went to vidcon where you were speaking which was kind of cool they didn't even they want to come back the kids well they came for a day they wanted to come not to see you or me, but to see other video creators yes. because this generation watches YouTube the way we watch TV. I know. Did you see the amount of kids that were standing in those kids, lines, yeah. like those meet and greet lines? Yep. And the there, there were so many kids and they were so excited to see all their favorite creators. Yeah, it was cool. I thought that was pretty cool. You yeah. got to meet people who are working in industry. You yeah. got to see what people were focused on. Yeah. Maybe learn a thing or two from other folks. Oh, I loved it. Speaking on that panel itself, I learned so much from the other creators, the other panelists on, you know, on my, on the stage with me. Yeah. It yeah. was very cool. It's always nice to connect with Faces that you watch on your phone. It's nice to reconnect with people that you met at other conferences. Um, it's a really, really nice uh, touch point. And then we got to do a few collabs while yeah, we were Yeah, that's probably the best part. Yeah. When you get to meet. In real life. And connect with people. Yeah. And really find a way to, to share that moment of creation. Like we did a collaboration with a magician. If you guys don't follow him, Sean Does Magic. He's amazing. Um, he taught me a few cool magic tricks. And a few that were not so cool. And it, Well, that was not that, was, that he taught me bad ones. It's that yeah, I did not execution perform. was lacking. <laughs> yes, that's true. And then our friends Ling and Lam those, from Connecticut. Those that was two fun. were one of the highlights of my week. Yeah, that was really fun to meet uh, to meet them. You, you see content from many people. Yeah. Some of it connects with you more than others. Yeah. And that was really good. And they have a very similar dynamic to ours. Yeah. And we obviously connect with many other friends who we always say we will do something with, yep. but haven't actually gotten to do it. Yep. So those other videos will at some point surface yep. Yep. whenever our friends decide to come visit the wonderful land of Boston. Yeah. Which is it not was, something people do regularly. It, yeah, I know Boston's kind of out there for these LA creators. They go to New York. If they go. If they go, yeah. yeah. Um, so it was great. We had a wonderful week there. And then we got to have some meetings in LA. And we got to make some other connections out of the VidCon space. So the, the thing that we wanted to do this week was actually spend a couple of days seeing LA. Because we always dip in and dip out. And this time we had our kids. It was nice to just kind of insert ourselves into LA life for those few days. We ordered a $20 smoothie. 
Yes, the- <laughs> that people do in LA regularly. You just put a famous person's name and sell strawberry juice, and you could charge twenty bucks. <laughs> that was insane, but it was well delicious. Done. Oh sure, that Erwan smoothie was. I don't so care. Good. <laughs> I don't care. It was so good. It should not cost more than a bus pass. Yes, I know it should. But not cost more. there were so many people buying it. It was amazing. It was delicious. They should give you a discount if you're wearing yoga pants and a loose hoodie to buy that. Why? It was like a uniform. I would like to know. I would like to do a survey of what people wear when they buy that. They come straight from the gym and then they buy their smoothie. Yep, because that's a healthy way to end your gym. Man, it's smoothie. filled with protein and collagen and all kinds of stuff. It looks like you wash your face with it and drink <laughs> it. At least you get two things first. It was really good. The kids enjoyed that. You know, the the thing about LA that I love is the food scene. The food is amazing. It's incredible how many vegetarian friendly or vegan restaurants they have there. And people that are not even vegetarian or vegan are yeah. going there and loving it. We went to a bar. They have good vegan food. We did go to a bar. Like, what is happening here? You look at the ratings. It's amazing. You walk in. It's a wine bar. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, but we also serve. Only vegan gr- food. Only vegan food. Yeah, it was amazing. Then we went to a restaurant. We had calamari. Yes, vegetarian and they calamari. Had cheese plate. Yeah. It's a vegan restaurant. <laughs> they had cheese plate. And, like and I'm like, I don't understand. I thought you guys said they're vegan. And they're like, we are vegan, idiot. Yeah. And they walked away. It was so wild. So that, was, that is definitely a huge difference between and remember LA we and said Boston. There were three restaurants that we wanted to go to, three vegan restaurants, and they had closed. Oh, yeah, they keep shutting them up. Maybe they're not doing that well in L.A. Then. No, no, there were like 20 more. Yeah. And then we went for a hike. So what the, the thing hike that, was cool. That was really nice. The thing that I tried to do this trip, um, I don't know if you saw, but I pulled up like a chat GPT itinerary. So no. like I'm here for X number of days. I have my 10 year old and my 13 year old. Can you pull up? We love to eat. We're vegetarian. Can you pull up a list of things that fun things that we can do? So I pulled up that list. And then I had Jay go through it with me and he picked the restaurants that he wanted to visit and he picked the things that he wanted to do. And I thought that was a really nice way to balance like what we wanted to get out of the trip versus what he wanted or what they wanted to get out of the trip. So what did they pick? He picked that the the bar. Oh, the bar restaurant? Yeah, that was his choice. He picked the hike. They picked, they wanted to go to like the observatory to see the, well, they wanted to see the Hollywood sign. We showed it to them. Yeah. Just from the other side. Right. So we uh, our choices were that Runyon Canyon and the Griffith Observatory. And someone suggested to us do the Runyon Canyon because it's more local traffic yeah. as opposed to tourist traffic. Yeah. Um, I love how tourists go places and they say, I don't want to do the touristy stuff. You notice that? Everyone's like, oh, I want to do the local stuff. Yeah. When you do local stuff, sit in your hotel room, go to work, get a part-time job, and then go back to your <laughs> hotel room. That's a local stuff. No, but we went hiking with some locals. Yeah, but still. We went with our friends who live in Why LA. Why should you do the stuff that the city is known for, that people travel to come to do, <laughs> when you can go to get a job, get a part-time job? I'm going to start a business. Tourists for work. Come. <laughs> you can work at my business and feel like a local. Anyway, whatever. There'll we be had a little a bar where you can go and complain about your day's <laughs> we troubles felt like at the locals. end. We, the other thing that I highly recommend, if you know people in the city... Tell them to buy you a smoothie. No, Go with them because they really know like the local spots. Yeah, because that's those are the fun spots that keep people coming. There's a Target. I'll take you. <laughs> Bring your coupon card. We're I having think a sale we on some water. Really, really fun, like fun local spots, but also very highly rated because all these people that we were with, they really knew what was up. Yep. It was Did the hike. That was great. The hike was great. What else? The did restaurants we do? were amazing. What else did we do? No, we didn't have that much time. N- no. We, they, they swam, swam a little. Yeah, they went swimming in the pool. Yeah, we did the collaborations. That was that one was of their fun. highlights. Yeah. They loved meeting Sean. Yeah, the magic was good for them. Yeah. And then what did we do the last day? Uh, yeah, you, you met. I met another creator. I met Ami Desai. Yep. And, um, and that's it. We filmed a video. With her. Jay getting another five bucks out of me. Yeah. Yeah, so we so the thing for us is we really like to enjoy that time with the kids. It's not about where we are or what we're doing. It's about just finding opportunities to connect. And we did. And we went to the airport five hours early to make you happy. <laughs> no, we sat around. We, we went to the wrong terminal. That's how early we got there. Even Delta was like, what are you doing here? Why are you guys here? 
Fine, just send him to Terminal we 3. We so did not do and that. And they're like, ah, go to Terminal you 2. You are the one who said that we had to go at that time. Because you brought a check bag. You're I've not traveled not with this? a check bag in three years. Oh Nobody knows God. what to do with these pieces of luggage. So You ruined the whole system. <laughs> we had to carry all the bags. So we didn't have a bag to pull through the airport to put the duffel on top oh of. Oh, my God. Okay, so we traveled and you for didn't even seven use days. All that stuff. Seven days. Seven days. I was speaking at a conference. We had breakfast meetings. We had parties at night. We had multiple like changes that I needed during the day. I had three pairs of shoes. I had a bag of makeup. I had my hair straightener or curler. How was I meant to fit that all in? I could have easily fit it into into two hand carries. But God gave you two hands, (laughs) so you can take two hand carries. carries. That's why you got two hands. You're not allowed to travel. So on Wednesday That's why you have morning, children. None of us had extra bags. We're all standing Wednesday there like mornings, Lalu's. When I told him where my bag was, he said, where's your bag? And I pointed at it and he said, that's not your bag. And I said, yes, it is. And he said, that's too big. And I said, that's just a regular size bag. And he looked at me like I was insane. Like I, I had three heads. This. How? Jay's going to India for three weeks. He's taking a rolling. No, he's yes, not. Yes, he is. <laughs> they have washing machines. We did not have access to washing machines. No, we did not while we were there. Why pay $25 for them to wash your clothes when you can pay $25 to take more clothes and wash them all when you come home? (laughs) Genius move. I believe in laundering clothes. My clothes also want the international experience. Why should your clothes not experience travel machines? Oh my God. You're still angry about this. No, that's why we have to go early to accommodate your travel bag. He was so angry. He was so, so angry. I couldn't believe... get you a backpack for your hair straightener and your makeup. I had a separate <laughs> bag for my computer and all the other extensions that I needed. Like, I, my, my quota was full. You don't think we could have put it in two travel bags? No. All my stuff? Yeah. In two hand carries? Yeah. No. Also, at the end, by the way, everybody was shoving their stuff into my suitcase. Mm-hmm. It's true. <laughs> I'll play along. Fine. We needed the big bag <laughs> to bring back the teddy bears and the this and the that that I'm we brought in. I'm all done in. with you. We, had a te- great we brought week. teddy bears back. And, one teddy bear. And mugs. Just one teddy bear. Two mugs. The kids left with some fun goodies from VidCon. Yeah. They did enjoy picking up some. Uh, I guess we could. What would you call it? Swag. Oh, that's the nice way of saying it. Yes. What would you Better call Better than it? what I was going to say. It's called swag. Yeah. It was really, the kids loved this stuff. They did enjoy. Yeah, they had a great time. We all had a nice time. Now we're back. We're super jet lagged. I'm going back to bed. Yeah, I'm me not going to remember think. recording this episode. <laughs> was there anything else you had? That's we it. finished? Wait, but I had a tip. Okay. For the travel folks. Tell me your tip. Book the window seat and the aisle seat when two people are traveling. Don't sit beside each other. Yeah. That's it. Especially the kids. Yeah. So then you sit window and aisle, and then the last seats to be sold are the single middle seats. Mm-hmm. And if somebody does buy the single middle seat, they'll trade with you anyways. Yeah. There's no chance of them saying, oh, no, no, I love sitting in the middle of two people talking to each other. <laughs> Especially so, two kids. So they'll take the window or the aisle. Like, it makes no difference. They'll yeah. take it. Yeah. So what the kids do now, they figured out a system. You could do it as an adult. It's easier <laughs> as a child. They take the window, they take the aisle, they put down the middle seats uh, tray table yeah. and they put all their things on it. Yeah. And as they see someone approaching, they start fake fighting. <laughs> and then the person comes and like, oh, I'm in that seat. And they're like, oh, fun. What do you like to do? What's your name? Do you want to color with me? And they'd like each try to win them over immediately. And the person gets completely flustered. And as the parents, we sit on the other side and we just look and we say... <laughs> I don't know. Look, I, it's a long flight, but I'm not sitting there. So that's why I booked this seat. So I don't have to do this. It's up to you. You want to sit there or not? It's your choice. The and then I hand them a little <laughs> Ziploc bag with ty- like Tylenol and a, a little note saying, I'm sorry, you're going to have a headache. Here's the Tylenol. <laughs> then they call the hostess. the hostess right away. No, no. That hostess took pity on that lady. <laughs> like... Yeah, they, they, they called. The, the flight attendant sees this whole thing and the flight attendant says... Um, ma'am, we have some other seats yes. open in the back. And the lady's like, oh, y'all enjoy your flight. <laughs> and she left. 
<laughs> so the kids both ways pulled this technique and both ways they got all three seats for the two of them. They should not do it's any a good of technique. This. You're making our kids sound no, like No, just geniuses. Absolute geniuses. I want to do that. Okay. We tried, it didn't work. No. The guy just said, the guy's "Can just I like, sit over the there?" The guy's like, "Do you guys want to sit beside each other?" And we're like, "No." And he goes, "But I think you should because I don't want to sit between you." And he took one of our seats. That is so not true. We should have sent him to the middle of the kids. Yeah, we should have. He was in but the middle of us. That's a good hack. We always do this when we travel. We never book seats side by side. Yeah. We take three. Yeah. It used to work a lot better. Now the flights are almost always full. Yeah. But you could still choose. Yeah. This time it worked. It for the for kids. Yeah. Both ways it works for the kids. Yeah. But on our side, it didn't work either way. That's true. But our seats were like a little bit more space or legroom yeah. or something. Anyway, it was good. That's we had a hack. good trip. Any other hacks? Other travel hacks? Yeah. I have a I have a, a tip. Yeah. Don't wait until the last minute to book your t- your tickets. Don't wait until the last minute to book your Did we do that this time? We tried not to, but you get it's like they're they're so expensive if you wait until the last minute. Book your travel yeah, I early. I can't remember what we, My ticket when we was booked. a lot cheaper than your ticket. Correct. Yeah. yeah Cuz I booked later. Yeah. So it was okay. It yeah. worked out. It's all good. I think that's it. That's what we got. That's today's episode. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. The for number being one here. episode you're listening to right now. There'll be no songs today. I sang my songs at no, the you beginning. Didn't. Yes, I did. What song? I sang when the sun goes down. I mean, I wasn't on here. My Saturday. So I'm not sure. That's what you're leaving people with. That's your go-to track. Don't you? Re- oh, you weren't here. I wasn't here. Oh, you weren't here. Okay. So you're gonna sing something for me or no? No, I'm good. Thanks. See you okay, guys later. Bye. <laughs>